Hello and welcome to part 3 of my little guide to MPAGD. Uh, in this uh, video we're going to be um, introducing some um, animation to the sprites, just something basic uh, to show you how it's done. And we'll also um, be using the shrapnel engine um, for some explosions. So um, let's start looking into that uh, right now. So first things first, we will go to the sprite editor. Um, oops. And we'll pick the nasty sprites, I think. Um, now these are just fairly basic um, images we, we created uh, in video one. What we'll do is we'll insert some more frames. So um, we do that with the I key. And that inserts another frame. You notice we've now gone to frame one. Uh, and we can um, flip between the frames with the D and the F keys. So we can animate forward with F and backwards with D. Um, so what we want to do first of all is copy that frame to the new frame we've just inserted. So we mark that with M, uh, move to the next frame and then just K to paste it. And that means we, we have two frames exactly the same. So now we can just amend them. So all we'll do is just to get something fairly basic is to change the length of the um, arms there. So let's make that one shorter on that diagonal and this one shorter on this diagonal. Um, it's not going to look terribly impressive but at least that way we have got some sort of animation there. So. Um, So now we have that sprite animated, we go to the event and we take a look at the code for that, which I think was sprite type 2, wasn't it, for the nasties. So we look in sprite type 2's event and ah, now we have an animate um, instruction there. I think that will animate a little too quickly, so we'll put in a parameter there, animate slow. Now we have several um, arguments, we, we can animate fast, we can animate medium, we can animate slow and we can animate very slow. Um, but we'll stick with slow, we'll see what that looks like for the time being. So we come out of there and we um, export the source code. And then we load the binary we've just created into address 24576. And then we run it. And there uh, you see we now have a simple animated sprite. And we can do that with, with all of the sprites. Okay, um, you'll notice that when we shoot the sprites they don't uh, do anything, they just disappear at the moment. So let's get some explosions in for those next. So we come out of that. And we go to the events. And um, first of all, let's make the enemies explode. So we go down to the code where we're looking for a collision with the player. And okay. Just after that we have the code for the collision with a bullet. Now what it does here is it when it hits a bullet it removes the sprite, it removes the bullet sprite adds one to the score and then shows it. Um, well let's increase the score to 50, to 50 instead of 1 which is far more reasonable. Um, and then before we remove the sprite what we're going to do is we're going to create an explosion and the way we do that in MPAGD is with the explode command. 
Now explode takes one parameter, which is the number of um, bits of shrapnel that we need. So let's have um, 30. Let's try that. So save that. Export the source code. Temp. Yes, please. Yes, please. OK, clear. Make room for the machine code. Load the binary. And run the game. And now when we shoot the alien, bang! He explodes. So, that's working. Now, what we need to do is get the player to explode when he dies. So that's a little bit more complicated. Um, so let's look into that now. now. I can't remember where the code is for the collision detection. I think it was in the... the nasty... Wasn't it right? Okay, so when the nasty collides with the player, it kills him. Well, we don't want to do that here, because that restarts the game immediately. So what we want to do instead is um, is have an explosion. So what we'll do is we'll um, set a flag, say the player is dead. We'll, we'll start it off at fifty. I'll. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, we'll, we'll have a, a counter going down um, from 50 down to 0. When it gets to 0 then we'll restart um, the screen. and That will give us time to see the player's explosion. So we set that there. We then select the player sprite with other and we want to remove the player sprite at that point. And then we want to um, have an explosion. Let's have a slightly bigger explosion for the player of uh, 40. Um, so that should remove the player sprite, cause an explosion, and then set this variable k to 50, which is our counter. So we come out of that, and now we need to decrement that counter in the main loop. So we go to the main loop, and we check if k has been set. If it has, we then subtract 1 from it. And then when it gets down to zero, then we kill the player. So that's that written. The only thing left for us to do now is to go to the restart screen event and make sure K starts off at zero. Okay, so now if we export the source code, Bang! The player blows up, and the game restarts in a couple of seconds. OK. So, I don't know about you, but um, I'm getting rather sick of that font. Let's go to the font editor. Um, you'll notice we have a choice of default fonts we could uh, select, so um, we'll, we'll go for one of those instead of drawing a new one, uh, because that's very time-consuming. So we'll overwrite that. The uh, font we were using, by the way, was the default for the Amstrad CPC, uh, which is only 4 pixels or 5 pixels wide for each character, um, which makes it look a bit thin on the spectrum. 
Um, so let's go with that bolder font. Um, while we're at it, let's have a look at the um, intro menu um, and um, spruce that up a bit. We've got a clear screen in here and then we've got the bit that displays the menu in this loop. So what we need to do, I think, is Um, give it a title. I don't know. Print um, cosmic uh, calamity or something. I don't know. Uh, that's uh, for eight, uh, six, four, t 15 characters. Oh, that's an odd number. So let's make it 16. Um, which means to get that in the middle of the screen, we want to put that at three eight. Um, one other thing we can do that MPAGD is very good at is Double height text. We have two print modes in MPAGD. Print mode 0, which is standard text, and print mode 1, which is double height text. So let's just do that. Have the title in double height text. Um, let's set the background colour to black. The ink to cyan. Um, and the border to blue. While we're at it. Um, so, let's export the source code. And there we go, we have a little menu screen that's looking a, a lot natty already. And then we go into the game, and we can shoot our aliens, pick up the collectible, and yeah, it's already looking um, better. So, that just about wraps it up for part three.